Hey, how's it going guys? Today I want to talk about something a little different, and that's focus. Focus is one of those things in Warframe that you usually don't really pay attention to until later on in the game, and then you realize that, oh my god, it's this gigantic grind, and it's going to take you forever, and, and the main methods of getting it are stealth exterminate on Adaro, and that's just not fun. And I understand that that's a common position for a lot of people. However, recently, DE released a new update called Beast of Sanctuary that changed the whole focus grind altogether. Now you can do what most people love in the game, and that's kill tons and tons of enemies while grinding your focus in a way that doesn't give you shit rewards like Adaro. And I wanted to make a video going over the differences between Sanctuary Onslaught and Adaro, but I also want this video to be pretty comprehensive and show you what the focus gains are like, so I'm going to first show a couple runs on Adaro with two of the most common builds, and then I'm going to show you my gains from running up to round 8 on Sanctuary Onslaught and compare them. So as you can see here I'm on my MR25 account and on this account I have completed the entire focus tree um, and I have plenty of leftover focus um, and I'll kinda go into how I have so much and what method I use the most um, but this is just gonna be related to the daily focus cap uh, which used to be 250,000 but they recently increased it for 5,000 uh, for every MR level you are, in addition to the 250,000 uh, base cap, which is a nice little reward for getting higher mastery and lets you grind it out a little faster. Now for these tests, I've chosen to only use basic lenses. So I don't have any greater or eyeline lenses equipped, um, and I did that just because I'm not sure what people have access to. And I figure this is going to be just a good baseline test for how much focus you can get uh, as a somewhat new player. Um, the one thing I will say is that some of these builds require some investment, and I'm hoping that if you're at the point where you're going to do some uh, focus grinding, you can at least get them into a workable state. Um, as you can see here, this is a Sleep Equinox build. This is one of the common Daro Stealth Exterminate uh, builds, and it's based on the Night form of Equinoxes 2, which uh, puts all the enemies to sleep, and you can just murder them while they're stunned. Um, and it uses the Augment Common Frenzy, and you can see what I have equipped here. I'm not going to go in-depth into the build unless people uh, really need an in-depth guide. And as you can see here, I have a Naraman lens in my frame. And then this is, I'm going to be using the Atarax on both this and the other Adaro build uh, Banshee, um, just because I think this is a pretty simple weapon to get um, and as you can see I'm not using uh, maiming strike there are you know a couple like I have primed things uh, you can always substitute these out for non primed and there are small personal preferences in here like focus energy and dispatch overdrive which just increase your movement speed uh, because once you get enough damage it's all about how quickly you can kill rather than having enough damage to kill and I also have a Naraman lens on this weapon as well uh, you only need to put a lens on your frame and your weapon because we're going to get melee kills. It doesn't actually matter if you have a secondary or primary equipped. Um, and I've chosen to use the Prisma Shade simply because it can cloak you occasionally. It's not very useful for the most part, but you know, occasionally you'll turn invisible and you won't alert enemies, which is kind of nice. All right, so let's see what a uh, actual run looks like. You want to go to Sedna and then choose the regular Adaro Exterminate. Uh, make sure you're on solo so that other people don't join you and ruin your run. While you're in the mission, you want to look for glowing yellow orbs that show up when you have a lens equipped. Uh, they're called convergence orbs, and they give you a multiplier to your focus gains that stacks with your stealth multiplier, which is the reason why stealth setups are used. A good thing to know about being stealth, it can be difficult to maintain the stealth multiplier which is the 1 to 500% multiplier you'll see in the top right. And it stacks as you kill unalerted enemies up to 5. So just know that if you're going to be stealth, you need to kill enemies without them being alerted. And what that means is they can't see a dead enemy on the ground, they can't see you, and they can't be alerted by noise. Uh, that's why something like sleep, where they're all put to sleep and stunned, is perfect and very safe for farming focus because it allows you to kill them with very little danger of being alerted. However, with this Equinox setup, you're, you are going to need to spam your two a whole lot. I'd recommend maybe in using a macro that constantly presses two. I personally didn't use this, um, 
but it does make the whole process a lot easier on your hands and just your sanity in general because you don't have to worry about constantly spamming it yourself which can put a lot of players off and I do apologize a little for this gameplay um, I've been out of practice farming Adaro for quite a while so it's not the most optimal but I think it does give you a good perspective of what your average focus gains are going to be with just regular lenses on. I'm not trying to wow you with giant numbers or something like that. I'm just trying to give you a realistic view of how to gain focus. If you have seen other videos with giant numbers, then those people are, are probably using a booster, which doubles the amount of focus you get. So if you don't have that, you won't get huge amounts of focus. It'll still be very good, but it'll just take you a little longer to farm for the day. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is on the footage you're watching, I was using Naramon with Affinity Spike, which increases the affinity you gain by 45% on melee kills. That essentially gives me an extra 45% focus when I'm doing this, so if you have lower numbers, that might be a reason why. And if you're planning to do a lot of Adaro, then I definitely recommend you do that, simply because it cuts down the amount of time you spend each day farming. So as you can see here, I got about 29,000 focus on a four minute run. So for my daily cap, which would average out to about 40 minutes for the base 250,000 cap. And for me personally, it would take probably about 50 minutes if I kept at it at this pace. All right, so next up is gonna be the Banshee build for Adaro. Uh, this is based on Savage Silence, which is the Banshee augment for Silence, which is her three. So you basically just run through the map and as things get affected by silence they are temporarily stunned and you kill them during this stunned period. You try to kill them as fast as possible after they are affected by silence so you'll see that in a little bit. Uh, and other than that this is the build. Again if you have any questions about it I can always make another video that goes over the specifics and why I've chosen to do certain things. Most of it's just movement speed though on this one. Movement speed is very important for the Banshee build. Um, I also have another Naraman lens on this, and I'm using the same Atarax, same setup and everything, just the Banshee's different, and let's get to it. So as soon as I get in the mission, uh, my first priority is to cast Silence. Uh, I have a pretty long duration, so I can keep it up for a long time without having to worry about recasting it. And I basically treat this as a regular exterminate mission. And I kill things until a orb pops up, and then kill enemies as fast as possible. The longer range your weapon is, the easier this will be. Uh, just watch to make sure that your Silence is up. And if the enemies become unstunned by your silence, then they can walk around and spot you. So be careful about that. Uh, and the way that happens is it, it's just if they're in your range for too long. As you'll see, as soon as they enter into my range, they get stunned. So you'll see exactly how far the range is on this. And you can obviously change that with range mods. As you can see, I'm, I'm having a little trouble finding the last enemy, which is why you can put things in like enemy scent to help you find the enemies easier. It doesn't need to be perfect, you know, just keep going, even if you mess up. It's all about practicing and getting better at it. Um, and like I said, I'm a little out of practice of doing this, so you can definitely be more effective. Uh, another little trick to staying undetected is if you're channeling, it'll destroy the enemy bodies, which means that the other enemies won't get alerted by an enemy you kill while channeling. It's useful in some situations, but definitely doesn't need to be used always, and you'll also drain your energy if you do it too often.
and as you can see I got a little less focus on this than the Equinox in the same amount of time so both of these will be very similar in terms of time spent for focus it just depends what you enjoy doing the most alright so both those methods have been around for quite a while but after the Beast of Sanctuary update we have a new and in my opinion a lot more enjoyable way to farm your focus the Elite Sanctuary Onslaught already had some pretty good rewards with Radiant Relics in the Lado and Bratton Vandal sets but with it you can also cap your daily focus after the first zone and on each subsequent zone you will automatically be given a convergence or boost that starts at the normal eight times and scales all the way to a 16 times multiplier for focus because of this the longer that you stay in sanctuary onslaught the more focus you'll gain that coupled with the increased level of the enemies in the elite mode make it the perfect place to farm focus while simultaneously getting good rewards so in order to do this all you're gonna need is any new warframe build the idea is simply to kill as many enemies as possible in the 45 second window upon entering a new zone. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using my self damage Trinity, because personally I think it's the, the most efficient uh, for this method. But if you don't find this gameplay fun, there are plenty of other builds that this can work for, like Equinox, Saren, Mesa, or any other build where you know you're going to be getting a high amount of kills. I know this is a pretty strange build to most people, so I'm going to show the Warframe and Kitsana's build after I show the focus gains. Overall, a run to 8 rounds will take 20 minutes on average, and you can continue going if you want. For the purposes of my test, I didn't do that, because after round 8 is the last reward rotation. But if you are continuing to kill at the same pace, then it's just as effective. The one thing I will say about this mode, the amount of focus you're going to gain from each new zone changes. And because the enemy types and tile set change every time, each week varies, depending on what zones and the enemies that populate them. This build in particular struggles with enemies like Ancient Healers or Eximus units. But what you see me doing here is I'm casting Link and then using the Kastana's alt fire function to blow them up as I'm jumping in the air. I transfer the damage from myself to the enemies. This is possible because you can become immune to radiation damage while jumping through a combination of some unique mods. I found this build one of the most effective in Sanctuary Onslaught and perfect for farming focus, if not a little boring. But with it, you'll be able to carry your team to round 8 every time. And past that, if that's what you want to do, you don't have to worry about other people not killing fast enough or losing efficiency. It will lose its effectiveness at some point, but you can take it to very high rounds, and the more damage you have on your Kastanas, the better. That's the reason why the Kastanas Ribbons are so expensive. The one thing that I struggle with uh, in this build is energy. So it's pretty important to have the Xeneric Focus School unlocked so that you can use the Energizing Dash to keep your energy up, as well as run around and pick up the energy orbs on the ground if you need. Um, it's probably the most difficult thing besides the ammo consumption, which you can alleviate by using Carrier, which both increases your maximum ammo and allows you to gather ammo much easier and while it's not technically necessary to run a carrier I personally would not run without it but hopefully at this point you guys get the idea so I'll quickly skip to the end result screen to show you how much focus I got in this test uh, the one thing I will say is that I forgot to take my arcanes off so I have two arcane awakenings on but it certainly works without it and I did a test immediately after this uh, to show that I'll put the results up after these. So in the first test I got roughly 1,100 focus and the second test I got about 90,000 focus. So there was a little bit of a difference but I'm not sure if this was because of the damage or because I simply just got luckier with my kills. In both cases this is slower than the Adara method in terms of your focus to minute ratio but overall you get better rewards through this mode and I personally think it's a whole lot more fun than the Stealth Exterminate. Okay, so this is the Trinity build. The important mods are Aviator, Diamond Skin, and Baiting Link. Aviator and Diamond Skin are how you uh, become immune to radiation damage. And a Baiting Link helps with redu reducing enemy armor. Other than that, you basically just want max range. And then I have, then I have Flow and Continuity just to help a little bit with the ability efficiency. As you can see, I don't have any efficiency mods installed at the moment. 
You can definitely play around with this and change it as you see fit. And once again, I simply have a regular lens in my Warframe. So as you can see here, I have the Sancti Castanas, which are uh, an MR-10 weapon. And I've invested five Forma into these. Uh, that's mostly because I have some Prime mods, and obviously all these mods are maxed with the exception of Primed Heated Charge. You certainly don't need this exact build, but you do want to make sure you have radiation damage, or you won't be immune. The Sancti Castanas themselves are probably the hardest part of this build to acquire considering they're a syndicate weapon, and I would recommend taking the time to get these as it requires a lot of format as you can see, as well as the fact that they are far superior to the base Castanas. And last but not least, I have a regular lens in. <clears throat> as I mentioned before, carrier is an important part of the build. Uh, you can literally take out everything except for vacuum and ammo case. N none of these other mods are particularly important except for maybe if you wanted to survive a little bit better, but that's basically the build. I hope that showing some of the more efficient methods for farming focus helps people at least get started in the focus grind, because I know it can be pretty overwhelming starting out. As someone who has completed the entire focus tree in what probably took me about three months. Uh, I will say that all of these methods pale in comparison to Eidolon hunting. Eidolon hunting is the far superior way to farm focus, and if you have the time to put into the hunts when it's night in Cetus, I would definitely recommend doing that, as the shards you acquire from them do not count towards your daily focus cap, and you can acquire as much focus in the day as Eidolons you can kill. And as you can see when I go to my focus conversion tab, uh, I have a ton of shards left over. This is probably just from the last two weeks or so of hunting after I've maxed out my focus. So if I were to convert all of these, you know, it's millions and millions of focus. That does not count towards my daily cap, so I can turn in as many of these as I want. If I wanted to, I could have 13 million focus right now. I hope you found this guide helpful. I know I went over a lot of different material, but all of it's pretty important to your overall focus grind and I want you guys to have as much information as possible about what you can do and the ways you can do it but I definitely can't cover everything in one video so if you have any questions please feel free to leave comments I'll do my best to get back to everybody and maybe I'll make specific videos if people have certain questions or if you want to know how to hunt Eidolons I can, I can make videos to go over the diff different setups and builds for hunting on the plains at night but that's it for me to, for today Hope everyone has a good one, and if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for future content.